is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be discussing what the hell happened last night on smackdown live as well as the main event of wrestlemania 35 everybody knows you know ronda charlotte and becky lynch my girl are going to be taking on the wrestlemania 35 main event in a triple threat match for the raw women's championship you know it was announced i think a couple days ago or yesterday can't remember i think it was monday you know afternoon or something like that they announced that this would be the main event of wrestlemania 35 and, you know, I, I, but my first thoughts on that were, you know, that, that I figured this would happen. You know, it's been talked about. It's been talked about. And I feel like a few months back, I felt like this was the right call, you know. But until they added all these different things and they kind of ruined the storyline, guys. They had Becky Lynch, even though she won the Rumble, she had to jump through hoops. She got suspended. She had the knee injury. She had to, you know, win this match and then win this match and then get this thing. And then they inserted Charlotte for no reason. And then they just had a bunch of convoluted bull crap added into the matchup. I know that they still deserve, I guess, technically the main event, and I'm okay with it. I just think that um, this this feud has lost a lot of steam since they've overbooked it, is what I'm trying to say. But last night on SmackDown Live, what we had was Asuka. This came out of nowhere. I wasn't even watching it live. I literally had to go back and watch. But anyway, Charlotte ends up getting a SmackDown Live championship match against Asuka on SmackDown Live, and she wins the matchup. She she defeats Asuka for the SmackDown... Uh, she defeats Asuka for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship and now Charlotte is an eight-time women's champion. Let that sink in. She She's still got a lot of career left, and she's already won eight women's championships. I think the record is held by Trish at eight, but she had seven women's championships and one hardcore championship. So she has already tied Trish, and she still has a lot more time. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to give her the record, you know, try to surpass her father or at least tie her, or tie her father before the end of her career here. But she wins the SmackDown Live women's championship you know twitter was exploding nobody knew what the hell was going on and i i just uh, one thing th this is what i'm going to say about it we're going to cover everything here today and i'm going to talk about what they should do and how they should do it here at WrestleMania 35. So apparently, all we know is that not only um, Charlotte is now the SmackDown Live Women's Champion, but apparently on Twitter, WWE announced that the main event of WrestleMania is still a triple threat, and it is still only for the Raw Women's Championship of Ronda Rousey's. Now, I don't think this is going to stand. I think the way they should do it is since, you know, Asuka just lost her championship. Asuka is just as talented, if not more talented, than every woman right here. Becky and Asuka are my two favorite women in the entire entire WWE and they are super duper talented and I know Charlotte and Ronda obviously are as well but they're, I think that they should totally add Asuka to this match. It needs to be a fatal four way match. They need to add Asuka to this matchup and it not only needs to be for the Raw Women's Championship but it needs to add the SmackDown Live Women's Championship so they're going to unify the women's divisions on WWE television so winner take all at Mania will combine the championships winner take all. I would have Becky winning it all and you would have the women's division just like Bailey and Sasha with the women's tag team titles, every single woman would be on both Raw and SmackDown. You could have a great feud. You, you know that it's not like the men. The men are sort of overpopulated. I think that they could easily unify the women's divisions on both brands. And I guess not. You wouldn't have two titles anymore. They would have you know maybe two titles for a little bit, and then they would unify it and make it one you know beautiful looking women's championship. Hopefully they wouldn't crap on it. You know they uh, they like they did the universal title. They need to get creative. Not have this same cookie cutter bull crap. Give us a new champion make it nice make it look nice make it you know represent the women's divisions and everything i think a white strap would look beautiful but maybe i don't know just change up the design man we don't want the same crap as the men's like make it its own thing like don't just they've used this same design for every single title belt and that's, that's just a whole nother video right there but i think this is the way you do it you add oscar to the matchup so you you cut down a match there instead of having a separate smackdown live women's championship match and making the wrestlemania card longer for no apparent reason you can throw Asuka in there, Fatal 4-Way, winner to take all, and Becky Lynch would obviously pin Charlotte or, or Asuka. I would say Charlotte because Asuka has just already been crapped on. I mean, they crap on her every year. She got crapped on last WrestleMania. Should have beat Charlotte. Should still be undefeated. That's that's another that's another video that I, could, that I could go on about. But I think that that would be the best way to do it. Unify the women's divisions. You could see, I know that Fox is signing a deal. SmackDown Live is going to Fox later on in the fall, and they really want Ronda Rousey on their television, and this is another 
the way to get Ronda Rousey on SmackDown Live is by unifying the women's divisions. And not only will she be on the USA Network, but she'll also be on Fox on SmackDown Live. And I think that would be a perfect way to do it. She can go on her little break for the summer, come back when SmackDown Live has moved over to Fox. It all makes sense. This is the way they should do it. And uh, I, I hate that they did this to Asuka, but if if they're going to unify the, champion, the championships and they're going to unify the women's division, I'm completely for this. Even though it sucks to see Asuka continue and continue to tr just be treated like crap, I still think that if they're going to unify the women's divisions and the women's tag or the women's championship titles, I think that this is the right move, and I'm all for it. And I know that. Uh Honestly, I mean, you could have had it just one-on-one -on -one here and then one-on-one -on -one here, and that would have been completely fine. But since they wanted to add Charlotte, because you're not going to have a main event of WrestleMania 35 without the, the Flairster, without Charlotte Flair, they're just not going to do it. So what they could have done is, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, but they had to add Charlotte because, you know, the, the last name there. But I think this is a good move. Unify those titles, unify the women's divisions, you could cross brand, promote, and you could, you could do all this. I think they should do the same thing with the tag team championships, to be honest with you. Maybe this is something that they're going to, you know, implement. You have two main titles on Raw and SmackDown, you have two mid-card titles, the U.S. and the Intercontinental. You can still have your Cruiserweight title, but then the tag team ta titles and the women's championships go back and forth, and I think that would be terrific, but that's pretty much it, man. I wanted to, you know, talk about this and what happened last night and what my thoughts were. Uh, we don't know exactly. Maybe WWE has announced it. By the time you're seeing this video, it may already be announced that it's for both. It may be announced that, you know, we're getting a Fatal 4-Way, but at the time of recording, it's not a Fatal 4-Way. It's only for the Raw Women's Championship, and everything is still the same, but it could be different. It could be changed. Uh, I am going to be doing a double upload today. I'm going to have another uh, a figure review going up in the next couple hours or few hours or so, so you guys can look forward to that. But that is all I have for you guys today. I wanted your thoughts on it and everything. Tomorrow morning, MDT Live should be posted, so you guys can look forward to that as well. But thank you guys so very much for watching. After the MDT Live is uploaded tomorrow morning, I will begin constructing everything for the Royal Rumble, the arena, the match card predictions, the review and everything. So you guys can be on the lookout for all those Royal Rumble videos leading up to the Royal Rumble. And also, the month of March is about to end, so the MDT Battle Royal should be going up very soon. But... Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.